Hi, I'm Tom Mayanek, host of The Sport Market on Team 1040 and teamradio.ca. It was both amazing Russian comeback and staggering Canadian collapse. But the gold medal verdict in this year's World Junior Hockey Championship will actually go down as a big boost to the IIHF, the International Ice Hockey Federation, and the World Junior Tournament itself. Setting aside how unusual it is for an annual gold medal contender to give up five third period goals, especially on 10 shots, and setting aside how surprising that was, given the way Canada dominated five and a half of the final six periods of the tournament, this was something the tournament needed to stay relevant on the global hockey stage in general, and in Europe in particular. A sixth Canadian win in seven years, with another hosting opportunity in Canada scheduled for December of 2011 in Calgary and Edmonton, would have not done much for the tournament's buzz factor among European hockey fans. The five straight wins, which punctuated the latter half of the last decade, were great for Canadian hockey, for Hockey Canada, and for TSN and RDS. But it was not good for the tournament. It was not good for the prospects of developing the property into something which hockey fans outside of Canada cared about. But now, back-to-back -back losses in the gold medal game for Canada has made things much more interesting for the rest of the IIHF Junior Hockey Pack. Three different gold medal champions in as many years is a good thing for the positioning of the under-20 junior tournament internationally. And that's exactly what it needed. It has been built into a holiday season blockbuster by TSN and RDS to the point where it draws record television numbers for the Canadian All Sports Networks, averages 3 million viewers every time Canada is in a game, and scores north of 5.5 to 6 million viewers for gold medal games, and sees more than two-thirds of all tickets sold to Canadian fans, even when it's being hosted by the Buffalo Sabres at HSBC Arena in Buffalo, New York. It also sees complete domination by Canadian sponsors, with seven of Hockey Canada's primary partners involved this year in the World Juniors, compared to only two for USA Hockey, the host national governing body. It was a shocking loss for Canada, not so much in the final score against the Russians, but in how we got there. But it was a big win for those hoping to keep the World Juniors from being relegated to also-ran status everywhere but in Canada. <music>